Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm, I'm very excited to have you here for this one and I'm not exaggerating when I say that this might be the, the most important and most useful guitar lesson that you see in a long time if you don't know this stuff already, especially if you know your ambition is to write songs with the guitar. So what we're going to look at today is how to build a chord progression, right? How to have, you know, a verse, a chorus, and also a really interesting ending, all right? That takes you away from the standard uh, kind of open chords that get a bit tedious, all right? So make sure, this is this is a belter, all right? Uh, make sure you, you get some time, you've got your guitar, <clears throat> and you buckle up for this one, right? So this lesson is inspired by one of my students. We were uh, having our live call in my community yesterday we're called the council of chords and um one of my students uh, proposed a question uh, he said tony you know when i'm sitting and i'm playing a, a chord progression and i'm wanting to make something up or someone asks me to play a song i start playing you know the same old chords g c g d but then i don't really know where to go from there <clears throat> All right, I don't know what other chords to use. I don't know how to make a bridge or, or a chorus or, or finish it or make it sound, you know, bizarre, right? I don't really know what I'm doing. And that is a great subject to touch on because I'm going to explain this to you in a way that's, that's, that's easy to follow. And by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to implement this and really up your chord vocabulary and really know what you're doing so that when you pick up the guitar, you will be able to play more than just three chords if you want to make something up, all right? So, uh, so yeah, uh, today I'm using my, my Martin uh, Mahogany Triple uh, M or Triple Fifteen M because this is the song I use when I'm making my uh, videos actually. And normally I'm sitting in the living room and I'm thinking about ideas and this is my songwriting guitar and I love it. And um, <clears throat> this is, it's actually, the action's a little bit too close actually so sometimes you'll hear a little bit of tininess but I kind of like that for some reason. So apologies if that puts anybody off. But let's get right into it, right? So the, the example we're going to go by is the example my student gave, right? We've got this chord progression, a G, a C, a G, a D. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build on that. We're going to build a chorus and we're going to build a really cool ending, right? And this ending is meant to turn heads. It's meant to make people stop in their tracks and go, oh, okay. And I'm not just saying that because I want you guys to stay to the end, which I do. Uh, but this is this is something special, and I wish I knew this. All right, I promise you, it'll live up to your expectations. Um, okay, so we've got a G, a C, a D. Okay, now we're playing in the key of G. You know that's our first chord. That's a good telling of what key we're in. And <clears throat> we need to know what other chords we have at our disposal. So that's the first thing we need to know. So there is going to be some theory here, but again, this is this is the the fundamentals. You need to know this stuff. Everything, all chord progressions are based in or around the major scale. Okay, so first of all, we need to know the major scale. So we need to find the note that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a G, okay, that's the G major scale we need to know. And we just need to do this. That's me playing the G major scale. Okay, let me take you through that, okay. So I'm starting with my middle finger here on three, that's the G note. Five, okay, with my pinky. Two, three, five on the A. Two, four, five on the D. The G major scale, okay? Now, I can move that anywhere in the fretboard. I could move it to the A note. A major scale, so it works anywhere. The shape, you just move it to whatever note you want to play. If I move it to a C, and I've got the C major scale. <clears throat> All right, so that is it. Now there's seven notes: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to the root: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I get seven notes. Now, how does that relate to making chord progressions? Well. Those notes tell me what notes are in the key of G and therefore it tells me what chords are in the key of G. Now, if you know the notes in the fretboard, if you learn them or at least you're able to find them, all right, and you can do that simply by knowing there's only 12 notes to choose from. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, that's only seven, but five of them have sharps and two of them don't. 
B and E don't have sharps. If you remember, B, E, B, just remember it, B. They don't have sharps, okay? Everything else does. So that means if I'm starting from the E string, E, every time I move up a fret, I'm at the next note. E, E doesn't have a sharp, so I go right to F. F sharp, G, G sharp. There's no H, you go right back to the beginning. A, A sharp, B, B doesn't have a sharp, so I go right to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and back to E again. Only 12 notes, okay? So that allows you to figure out where the notes are if you don't, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to do that for you. The notes we're dealing with here in the G major scale, we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then back to G, okay? G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, back to G, okay? So, now that we know the notes, we need to know the formula to make the chords, okay? So the chord formula for this is major, this is for all over the board, right? And we want to find the notes or the chords in a key. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, <laughs> diminished, and that's that's the seven notes, all right? Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Now, the diminished, don't worry if that's like gone, whoa! <laughs> don't know where that came from, but I'm gonna show you exactly what a diminished chord is, how you can actually use it, even if you're a beginner. Um, and that is, this is gonna be a valuable lesson for you, right? So, and my students love this, all right? This is a really cool tip. So, <clears throat> I've got G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, and I'm back to the G again. Okay, so you should know six of those, those chords. I don't expect you to know the diminished, but that's what I'm gonna show you right now. We've got G, and I'm gonna show you how we can use it in the chord progression. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E major, E minor, F sharp diminished. Now, I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this, right? So again, when you're looking at the major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, we come to the seventh note here on the fourth fret on the D string, which is the F sharp. We take our index finger there and we simply make the D shape, okay? But obviously with the high E3, we put our pinky there on the fifth fret. And that's our diminished, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D shape, pinky on the bottom. And this resolves beautifully back to the G chord. All right, and this works with everything, right? So again, if I want to find a diminished chord in any key, A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D shape, pinky. Now another way to identify the diminished chord is by looking, if you're doing a bar chord and you can do bar chords, look where your middle finger is here, all right? That is where you're gonna start your diminished. That's a good way to visualize it. So if I was playing a C, I know the C major bar chord's here. There's my middle finger, diminished chord, C. All right, that works. Here's a D bar chord. All right, lovely, right? It's a really good thing to know. <clears throat> all right, so let's get back into our chord progression now. Now that we know we have all those chords, a G major, I'm not gonna go over them again. Uh, G major, A minor, a B minor, C major, D major, E minor, um, F sharp diminished, and G. We're back to G, okay? <clears throat> so let's look at what we can do. We've got a G, C, G as our verse, D. We'll do it one more time. Now, a good way to separate that, if we're going into a chorus or a bridge, is to go for a minor chord. So let's look at E minor. We'll add in an, an E minor to a C, A minor to a D, E minor to a C, to an E minor, and a D. Now, we're going to add in all the chords here, right? I'm going to show you in just a second. So that's our bridge or our chorus, okay? Um, and then we're going to go back to the verse. G, C, G, D, G, C, 
Now we can do this often enough, you can start to use your ear to where it wants to go. I can hear E minor. See, but you just need to experiment. E minor. And a D. And a D minor. C. E minor. And a D. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright. So our chord progression has become more interesting, right? Now let's say you want to finish it off in style. I've not used uh, B minor yet. So I'm thinking B minor, slow down E minor, B minor, E minor, B minor, E minor, and what's after E minor, F sharp diminished? Okay, now that sounded pretty cool, right? But that's not the ending I'm talking about, right? I've got a really cool trick to show you. Okay, so again, that was B minor, E minor. I'm slowing it down. Just imagine the end of a song that's getting emotional. We're making a statement. Okay, now we've got to take that idea do something really cool with it and I have to admit right this is courtesy of Paul Davids I learned this from him um, who I love by the way um, and he's great for the theory kind of stuff and if you take a diminished chord right and you move it up three frets you've actually got the same notes all right you're basically playing the same notes but in a different order okay and you keep on doing that all right just moving up three frets so I've got four I'm going to move it up to 7, to 10, and then to 13. All right, and that works really well. Let's just add that in, right, instead of the, the, the one diminished chord here. We've got B minor, E minor, B minor, E minor, diminished. Okay, Whew. right guys, um, now again, you know my lessons aren't so heavy in theory, right? But again, this is something that I just feel makes such a difference to your guitar journey. Now, if it did go over your head a little bit, um, then I would suggest you watch my free masterclass. It's in the description, it's still available right now, and I go over a lot of stuff like that. It's like an hour long, alright, so you need to have some time, and I go over, you know, how to use uh, a lot more stuff. Than that how to pick up and play and maybe that maybe it'll start to make a little bit more sense all right <clears throat> and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments as well okay and let me know if that was useful and if there's anything else you'd like me to cover um or any other subject like this you'd like me to cover so anyway guys that's a bit of a long one have a great weekend or whatever day you, you're watching this have a great day and i'll see you soon